Hello everyone we are back again with a different and a successful story different you will get to know later on let's continue with this over to you rajita how hey hi everybody good this. morning good morning good morning thank you yours would be good uh, evening i would say uh almost night it's 1 a.m in the morning oh thank you Thank you for giving us your time at this hour. So that's how this Boy. friend. We are in India and the person is in Canada. This is the difference. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So do tell me Rishita how you came to know about Nationwide, how you wanted to proceed with us, who was your first point of contact and when all this happened. Oh, for sure. Um actually uh Nationwide was first open to my sister. Uh she she is in delhi and she was uh, also trying to since i was in canada for almost uh, one and a half years at that time so she was also planning to shift to canada uh, so she was the one who uh, you know um uh, got uh, some search yeah got some research done which agency to go through which is, which will be good and everything so nationwide was the one my sister and my brother in law thought that it would be good so my sister and my brother in law actually is the first person to start our pr process with nationwide so then i thought instead of doing something over here because i don't know anyone here and in this matter you really need to t- trust the agency because everything is done by them so it's a blind see the success scenario of an applicant or uh, uh, a person who is doing the application right yeah absolutely absolutely so yes absolutely so my uh, sister and my brother in law was very convinced that even i should file my pr through nationwide they because they visited the office physically they had a conversation with everyone so they were confident enough you know that this will be the right agency to go th- go with so that's how i came to know about nationwide and my first point of contact was aman okay. so the aman yeah so the you're right yes okay he was your point of contact yeah. got it do yeah. good good person do tell me further yeah continue yeah so um, aman was the first person who reached out to me and he briefed me what's the procedure how everything works how much time approximately it might take and even if it takes longer time you know everything will be taken care by nationwide and everything so that's how my process started and then it took a little bit of uh, time because i was working over here in canada so you know giving ielts and getting the score because always the cut off score it was so high you know so there was little um, crucial time when ielts was i because i gave ielts twice Okay. because the um, yeah the it the score was not up to the mark so then uh, when once the ielts is done then uh, the pcc was quick enough it didn't take some time and luckily uh, then my after my you know ielts and everything my point of contact till today is anupam yeah uh, yes. yeah yeah anupam yeah right <laughs> yes so uh he guided me through every process every whenever i was nervous he was the person who calmed me down because you guys do it in a daily basis it's your job to do you know so you know every laws and regulations if something is changing by ircc or if it's not changing so he helped me to take everything into consideration how the points yes. are how everything is going to affect absolutely absolutely so once that was done i was very lucky enough uh, as soon as uh, uh, anupam filed my case to ircc within one week i got my it right. so yeah even i saw that your uh, first of all your you was was submitted in canadian experience class yes you got yes. invited very quickly like that you got yeah. invited by the a uh, federal government in canadian experience class then your application was submitted for the ita it got approved and i believe in december everything was completed 
in this December? Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. I, I, because they gave, I think, a couple of months to submit all the documentations and everything after the ITA. So I submitted everything on May 20th. Right. And it was just, uh, so I was counting six months because I have seen my friends over here and everyone, every international students here is always, you know, this is the topic of discussion. What's the progress in PR? What's the status in PR and everything? So I have noticed that minimum not time period of six months. That's the minimum. So once it crossed, uh, so in that last one month after November was little agitated. I was pinging Anupam, what's the status, what's going on? You give me the credential, I'll check myself, I won't bother you and all those uh, things. And he was very uh, kind enough to walk me through this, everything, calm me down and you know, everything will work out, don't panic, this happens, you know, so uh, technically 20th December will be the seven months since I submitted right. but just on 18th of December I got everything done everything so done. yeah right congratulations on that and I'm, thank you and I believe your knock code is something called graphic graphic designer yes 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 okay. yes okay so now you're completely satisfied with everything the knock code given the process provided timelines and everything how would you like to grade uh, our services, our working for your people? Oh, it's if it's out of 100 out of 100, then 100 out of 100. If it's 10 out of 10, then it's 10 out of 10. Because anyways, when you come here, you do a lot of research. What's the process? What will be the knock code and everything? But when the front person you are consulting with is also aware what are the opportunities, what knock code will be the best to get the IT and everything. That boosts a lot of confidence, you know, because that means like you are in the right hand who will guide you through. So that was the best part of it that every person I came along or every people, especially Anupam, because he had the knowledge of what he is doing. So. That was the best part. Right. Nationwide is filled with people who know what they are doing and how they are proceeding on the application, what's need to be done. It's good that you got a great person to work with in your case. And any, yeah. any input you would like to provide to any person or any other person looking to go for Canada process, what would you like to suggest to them? First of all, I would suggest everyone whoever is planning to come to Canada or have their dreams to be here. Just don't hear of all the rumors, what's going on, what's not. Just believe in yourself, believe in the process. And if you really want, you will make it. Just you have to believe in it because there are lots of people who will tell, tell you 10 things. This is bad. This is not good. It's too cold. It's too this, too that. And unfortunately, the people who tells you they are not the people who are here and experiencing it firsthand. So if you are planning, it's a very good choice. It's a very good country to be in. It's a very good country to be safe, to be secure, a lot of work opportunities, job opportunities. But yes, every type, every, uh, you know, job opportunity or every circumstance has have its ups and downs, but that's a part of every country. It's not that Canada is this and that so if you have this kind of effect can, effect can happen in any country but you yeah, at the positive points of the process that if you have a belief in yourself if you have a belief in the process absolutely. go for it absolutely 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 okay Ritija, with these beautiful words we would like to conclude this meeting thank you for giving us the thank feedback. you thank you for giving us your time 